Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So previously I went ahead and I made a video going over kind of like areas that I personally go to farm legendaries. Uh, I did talk about Bastion of Chaos being my preferred favorite thing to do outside of Crucible, but I didn't actually show you guys the run. So in this video, I wanted to actually show you guys the run and show you what it's like inside Bastion of Chaos and why it's so good for legendaries. So uh, the only requirements really to doing this is, I guess, I think you need 40 scrap to, to like build the bridge here. And this area is a bit upset. It's pretty mad. You'll see my minions dying here, definitely. Oh, you know that feel when you're, like, on the wrong... What am I even doing? Did I turn off my aura? No, I turned it back on. Okay, we're good. So we're going to go inside the Chthonic Rift. And then from here, our goal is to go top left. We want to go up here. Make sure you have a skeleton key on you. One thing to note is that you cannot open up a portal once you're inside Bastion of Chaos. So once you're in this area, you're no longer able to open portals. So make sure you get your key before you come inside. Here is the That's gate. There are currently three roguelike dungeons. They're not really roguelike. It's just if you die, you can't go back into them. Um, there's the ethereal one. There is the Bastion of Chaos that I'm doing right now. And there is Steps of Torment. And soon to add in a Beast one as well. Now, the ideal goal while inside here is you want to find as many hero mobs as possible. Any up here? Nope. I would probably recommend maybe even like full clearing the area, but I don't really feel like it to be honest. I've done this enough already. But there's nothing wrong with like going down to check to see if there's any hero mobs and stuff. Oh, here we go. I found any new mythical items. I have like, I found at least like 70 legendaries. And uh, they have to roll level 94 mythical. You can't find low level legendaries if you're fighting high level mobs unless something new happens. Can't 
Oh, here's three hero mobs. Oh, okay. Okay. What in the hell was that? <laughs> A Bastion of Chaos can be quite unforgiving with some of the monsters hitting ridiculously hard. I stood over the chaos traps. Feels bad, I can't see everything is just red and pink and whatever other colors and orange. <laughs> Not to mention I lag a little bit in here, unfortunately. Should be a named boss right here, right? I can't do that. There's like two or three hero mobs over there. I don't think every name boss has an MI, but I could be wrong. There's two dudes down there. Oh, I have to go that way, though. Because that's the way out. Mythical Rift Warp Raft Warped. I want to read it, but I don't want my minions to die. Hey, it's a Doombolt piece. I, no, man, I told you I have found so many mythical pieces already, dude. That's not the first one. Trove. Oh. Always recommend opening the troves. I've probably skipped like seven of them this run. Okay, that's a little dangerous. We're just gonna position the minions here. Do that 
God, I keep missing my Doom Bolt. <laughs> I'm not used to this yet. I liked I liked it the other way, but I think the Doom Bolt way of did that hit? Okay, that hit. Good. Okay, and this is the third one, which is the last one. Oh, this is actually a dead end. I think I'm taking the long way here. That skill's not ready. Isn't there, I think there's supposed to be like a side room that you can do, but I don't remember where it is. That has like a, a good amount of spawns in it. Okay, uh, let me just kill everything here. I feel like I'm in a pretty dangerous spot. Alright. Okay, this is where big boy boss is. This guy kind of sucks for me because I don't know what he does, but I know he does something that kills my minions. So we're just going to attack him and then see what he does. I think it's that. Whatever he did right there, I think that's the mad thing. No, they're still good. They're looking good. I don't know. I can't see anything anymore. Uh-huh. Let's reposition them, maybe. Actually, I want to move them away. Okay, good. Woo! I can't do that Buddy boy, chill! <laughs> chill out, sir! There's no need for that. Okay, down he goes, and then at the end... What did he drop? Nothing. There are going to be chests right over here. So that was three legendaries per run, which is usually I get about one to two, so that was pretty good. Nice. 100% physical converted to elemental damage to force wave. Wow. Two-handed force wave build, boys. This gives 516% elemental damage. You know, that's quite a bit. Like, that's like... That's quite a lot. <laughs> oh, man. That looks like a fun build. Okay. Alright, then, guys. That's pretty much gonna be about it. Although I do want to show you uh, the legendaries I've accumulated with the methods that I've been using.
Now, this is after giving out some and whatnot. Um, I haven't really done any Crucible. So I've got this tab filled with legendaries and this tab filled with legendaries. Uh, I haven't taken anything from my other characters that's like in here, so I haven't really touched that at all. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys liked the Bastion of Chaos run. Uh, remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Um, remember, if you guys are also curious, you can find me streaming every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.